Good evening, my friends. Today is Tuesday, so it's my Thursday, seeing as how I work Sunday through Wednesday. Um, I was uh, kind of shocked. I got some stuff in the mail today I wasn't expecting because the tracking said that it's never left Canton, Ohio yet, which is about 30 miles due east. So about 40 minute drive, depending on traffic through, um, through the end of Amish country. But any which way, so today, this stuff came in, I was excited, I had ordered it last week, made pretty good timing considering it came from Colorado. This is Flannel Shirt by 345 Soap Co. or Soap Company. And um, the owner, John Patton, he's one hell of a dude. The owner, John Patton, um, sent me a sample of White Buffalo, which is one that I had wanted to get a, at least a sample of. They didn't have any available, so awesome on him that this ended up being in the order without me even asking. So, this stuff smells pretty damn cool, too. Uh, we do have the matching splash to go with the flannel shirt. So, um, for the shave, we've got the, the gold monkey, gold dollar 777. I figured we'd kind of go with the woodsy type theme or wood colored type theme. And then the brush, we will be using the 24 millimeter Timberwolf Synthetic from Maggard. So, um, with that being said, I'm going to wet the face real quick. I think I'll just get rid of the cap before I even start. We'll come back to that later. Now, I've been dealing with some camera issues. I keep getting these like mobile data alerts and this is a phone that's not even hooked up to data anymore it's just a Wi-Fi phone that I use for this so yesterday I had some issues I thought I worked them out and then not even a minute and a half into this it conked on me so bear with me here so we're gonna give this stuff a whirl this stuff um, like I said anytime I try a new soap I'm gonna bowl lather it so we will see how this stuff goes Heard nothing but good things about it. So, this stuff, uh, it is a tallow based soap, and the scent on this, they said, is bergamot and woods. And from what I'm getting, it smells almost like, you know, bergamot and then like an evergreen forest or something like that. So, you got a little bit of a pine type scent out of it, or, you know that kind of woods, not like damp, you know, maple trees in the in the woods or anything. Very clean scent, very pleasant. I'm always one for, you know, up those, uh, I love the pine type scents. So, uh, like I said, this is a tallow based soap and it contains, this is called their Trinity base. I've never used their stuff, but their Trinity base contains um, not only tallow, but uh, camel milk, donkey milk, and goat's milk. So we'll see how this stuff performs. Every Everybody who's done a review on this stuff loved it, so that's why I decided to order it. <laughs> and I was real torn between ordering this one or white buffalo, so... You know, we'll probably be ordering a white buffalo soon. <laughs> so, all right, first pass going with the green. Uh, I mean, I'd love to say not bad, but this is also a stallion's edge on this, so I know darn well that the razor's not going to be the issue. <laughs> On my slippery hands, I realized what I forgot to do, and that was to hit up the alum block.
Hopefully you guys, this week's going well. The weather here in Ohio is up to like 62 or 64 today. So, in no way am I saying winter's over, but it's nice that old man winter pumped the brakes at least for a few days. So, I think that's a, a reasonable thing to say. I definitely got spoiled with that huge blade the other day just by, by how easy it was to maneuver around. Not that this, this is a 6 eighths or 3 quarter inch, I mean it's no, uh, it's not a small razor by any means. But, and these gold dollars are actually pretty heavy razors. That thing was just massive as far as weight goes, so it made it almost effortless. What? It feels like I'm missing something back here. There we go. Yeah, this stuff feels very slick. I mean, there's plenty of residual back there. I might not have quite hydrated it enough because I can see a little cracking right there and right along the lip line. So in between passes, I will take care of that. I'd rather underhydrate it and be able to add more water than to break it and <laughs> be a kind of up shit's creek. Oh good, I didn't break open that scab right there. As you can see, I had one little nick from the other day. And it kind of, I usually run into it over here. I think I've only got it once over on this side. Could also be because I'm not right-handed and I, whenever I have the blade in my right hand, I tend to be a lot more delicate with it you know being left-handed or using your dominant hand you're gonna be a lot more comfortable and probably lulls you into a false sense of security sometimes too so anyway so that's it for pass number one I am going to do the against the grain on the cheeks you know up front and then we'll get against the grain on the neck and a cross on the cheeks on the third pass, which is what I'll have you guys brought back for. I'll take care of the second pass off camera. So, I will see you guys in just a few minutes. Hang on. Okay, we are back. This is going to be pass number three, two as you're seeing it. And, as usual, against the grain on the neck and a cross on the cheeks. So, um, give me one second. My, uh, my trusty dog wallop followed me in here and, uh, now he all of a sudden was pouting and nosing at the door, so my apologies. <laughs> and now he just laid up against the door right outside there. He's never happy. <laughs> Alright, so without further ado, let's get going here. And if I haven't said it already, this soap is actually a real treat to work with. Um, very pleasant smell. <laughs> I mean, the whole room smells like this stuff, this uh, woodsy, bergamot type smell. So, I mean, I don't know how you quite associate that with a flannel shirt, but hey, it works. Alright? <laughs>
looks like on my got a weeper or two right down there, but oh well, we'll take care of it with some cold water. They're not bleeding bad enough to cause an issue. Hope we will get this on the camera because I'm trying to use my bad eyes. Not that my eyes are bad. I mean, I still don't wear glasses yet. I might not be far off though. I'm trying to look at this little camera and still get to the mirror at the same time. Makes you start to think your eyes are getting strained, but we'll get through it. Too bad. So, like I said, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, you know, I I see some states are kind of on the mend as far as these mask mandates go, which is nice. For a few reasons. Number one, I have bad allergies, and to wear a mask on my nose. It makes it all the worse. Some days I have to hit Afrin all the damn time just to clear the nose up enough to breathe under a mask. Other days it's not so bad, but with allergy season closing in, it's going to make it all the worse. <laughs> so, that and my, uh, my youngest is a year old and... Um, he doesn't exactly care for it when we wear them around him, like when we've had to take him, well, my wife and I had to take him to the hospital not long ago for his um, RSV, what he was diagnosed with. Um, you know, he's doing a lot better, but he did not care for it when, when we had to wear masks. I mean, it's not that it petrifies him or anything, but he just doesn't like it. So, looks like I definitely got the soap dialed in after the first pass. I would venture to say that this stuff is I'll even try and do the brush technique and see if it comes to peaks like it, it should. Yeah, this stuff is a real treat to work with and use. Mm. Glad at the recommendations of a few people I pulled the trigger and got it. I see I got one little spot back here that's And there's plenty of residual slickness to work with. Yeah, this, I know those weepers are pretty much kind of closed up on their own. So, um, so let's see real quick before I put you on hold to rinse up. Let's check the brush, shall we? We'll see if it passes the peak test. Hopefully I didn't overhydrate it at the end. I mean, this is some dense soap. As you guys can see, it's... Not going anywhere, and there we got some awesome peaks, so, nice. Good stuff. So, I'm going to put you guys on hold for just a minute while I drain the sink and rinse the face, and we'll be right back. Alright, a little better prepared today. We got a good rinse going. Um, like I said, those weepers that I did have, nothing that a little ice cold water wouldn't fix, so... Going to the good old stairs, witch hazel. Now, as far as I know, this aftershave does contain alcohol. I don't see 
any ingredients. Oh wait. Ingredients, alcohol, witch hazel, distilled, okay. I'll, uh, I'll link all this stuff below so that you guys can uh, check it out if you're interested. Um, prior to the aftershave, we're going with the two pumps of the unscented balm. Okay, and we're going to give this stuff a shake. The unscent, or the unscented, the uh, matching splash. This is a lot like the Ariana and Evans lids, so you uh, don't have to worry about over spillage, if you will. Mr. Patton out there in Colorado, you've done one hell of a job, sir. This stuff. Oh, the scent is just awesome. Oh. So, yeah, if you're into the outdoorsy, you know, some bergamot and then like pine, evergreen type forest type stuff, and now please don't misunderstand me. Um, I don't mean that. This is like pine right in your face, just, you know, smacking you in the nose. No, um, these two are blended together very well. Um, you get just enough of each that there's no, you know, heavy hitter on one side and just a, a hint on the other. No, it, it's very well blended. It smells awesome. So, any which way, today we went with 345 Soap Co. This is Flannel Shirt. We also had the matching splash, so who knows, maybe we'll use that image for the thumbnail. <laughs> and then the uh, Timberwolf synthetic brush, and we used the uh, Gold Dollar 777, the uh, Gold Monkey, for the, the razor today. So, any which way, you guys have a great day, night, whenever. <laughs> Always got to throw that little piece in there. You guys have a good one. I gotta get ready for work. Keep your shaves clean. Keep them wet. Later, guys.